Hi, I'm Michael from ShareMaster, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to reset a version in SharePoint using the ShareMaster reset version functionality. So as you can see here, we have a file in ShareMaster, which is version 4.1. So if we go to version history, and we, we want to reset this version back to number three, we might think we can do this by clicking the third version and clicking restore. Okay. But what we'll soon find out is what that does is it actually restores the third version as version 4.2. So now our version is at 4.2. Uh, but there may be some reasons where we actually need to uh, reset the version back to a lower version number. And there's no way to do this out of the box in SharePoint. Uh, so I'll show you how we can do that using ShareMaster. And this functionality comes in the free tier of ShareMaster. So you don't need to pay for a license to be able to do this. All right, so first of all, we'll load ShareMaster. We'll load Explore Master, and we will add a connection. Okay, so I've logged in and we can see our SharePoint site here. We'll click on our SharePoint site and we'll go to files. From here, we'll find the document library where the file is held and we'll find the file and we'll simply select it and click reset version. From here, we can choose to reset it back to the closest major. So in that case, it would be four uh, or we can choose a specific version or reset it back to 0.1. Uh, so I'll just reset, choose a specific version and I'll choose three and I'll click reset. Okay, so now we go back to our SharePoint site and we can see it's been reset to version three. So it's as easy as that. I'd like to highlight an important note regarding ShareMaster's version history. This feature essentially takes a snapshot of the most re recent version and duplicates it as version one, and it subsequently increments the version number. The process results in the entire loss of the version history, leaving only the latest version and its associated metadata intact. The primary goal of this function is to reset the version number itself. So if you require similar functionality while preserving the file and metadata versions, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us through our webpage, con webpages contact us. Depending on demand, we may be able to develop this solution. So thank you for watching and until next time.